Section 10.4, Inscribed Angles and Polygons. Recall an inscribed angle is an angle in the plane of the circle with its vertex on the circle. So instead of having our vertex at the center of the circle, we're going to put our vertex actually on the circle. So in this picture, angle ABC is an inscribed angle. First thing we need to recognize is that the measure of an inscribed angle is half the measure of its intercepted arc. So if we have a circle, with our inscribed angle A, B, C. And say you're told that arc, the measure of arc A, C is, we'll say, 60 degrees. Then, this means that the measure of angle A, B, C is 30 degrees. The arc is 60, the angle is 30. So whatever our arc is, our angle is half that amount if and only if it's inscribed. This is for inscribed angles. So we've now talked about two angles. We've talked about inscribed angles, which are half the measure. And we've also talked about central angles. And central angles are equal. So recall that if we had the central angle, and this was 60, then the angle itself would be 60. Let's work out an example. So in example one, I want you to find the measures indicated below. We're given this picture. I want you to determine the measure of angle C and the measure of arc EB. Try this on your own first, and then resume the video when you're ready to check your solution. Okay, we see, first of all, we're given that arc BD is 48 degrees, meaning angle C is half of that, is 24 degrees. Furthermore, we see that angle EBC is 50 degrees, so its intercepted arc is twice that, is 100 degrees. Also, play make note that CB is a diameter, meaning that our remaining arc has to be 80 degrees to add up to 180. So we found now that the measure of angle C is 24 degrees, and the measure of arc EB is 80 degrees. And those are our two answers. How about this one? We want to find the measures indicated below. So in circle A, we're told that D, BDC is 35 degrees, which means its intercepted arc is double that, is 70 degrees. Well then what do we know about angle E? Hopefully you realize that this one is also 35 degrees because it also intercepts arc BC. Now notice angle F also intercepts arc BC, which means it is also 35 degrees. Now take a look at angle G. This one also intercepts arc BC, so this one is also 35 degrees. And finally, we see angle H also intercepts arc BC. So yet again, we have an angle that is 35 degrees. What this leads us to is to see that theorem 10.8. If two, ins two or more inscribed angles of a circle intercept the same arc, then the angles are congruent. So up here, all of these angles intercept arc BC.